Okay. We are about ready. Just getting set up on my phone. Laptop's good. Phone's good. Uh, okay. Let me go ahead and swap it over. Volume should be off. Yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and get going. So last time we made it to a snowy castle and we made it to the boss up there, but I haven't managed to win. And I feel like I might need some better stats to help out. So I'm thinking of going to, uh, going back to the forest and try to take on the, the shadows of Yarrow. Because I got very close. One thing I want to do, though, I think I might be better off getting rid of the fire. I don't know what skill scaling actually does, but... Or blood tinge, for that matter. Because <coughs> I'm not 100% sure if even if I'm facing against a beast... How much changing it to fire would make a difference with my current stats. If I were to really focus on arcane, then sure. But yeah, I think we'll focus on the Shadow of Yaram. <coughs> I think I have good enough stats. Granted, boosting Arcane against them would still also be good. Because, uh... They tend to use fire a lot, so boosting my magic defense is a good idea. I was just slightly too far away. It is fun to set them on fire, though, with the saw blade. You get a lot of reactions, and it does do something. I just don't know it, how good the damage output actually is. At least with my current stats, anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna have to top off my HP here in a minute. But we'll do that right before the boss. Yeah, there's Ganon. Of course I take a little bit of fall damage. Of course. Sh 
should be facing the wall. There he is. This is the only annoying part about going to this boss fight. I have to play it slowly. Just so I don't get spotted. drops potions. Okay. So it kills the swamp things in two hits if I keep the fire. That is actually something to consider. I should be at max. I am. Okay, making sure. All right. Time for a boss fight. I'm still going to target the long range fighter. I feel like if I focus on the others, the long range fighter can easily take pot shots at me when I'm not paying attention. Pretty good. Nope, back away. Okay. Oh, if I caught that sooner. Is that it? That's it. Okay. One down. Thought I, I thought I was moving away, but okay. Whatever. Ugh. Nope. Get... Out of here. Okay, I need to heal. Getting chip damage in when I can is also nice. Okay, the flamethrower. I'd rather target the other one. I don't know where he's at. Oh, I really don't know where you're at. <sighs> I couldn't keep everyone on screen. I didn't know where everyone was at.
Well, time to try again. So, if the Swamp Things die in two hits when I have the fire equipped, it does seem like that even though my arcane magic is really low, the Serrated Edge plus the fire weakness against beasts, because now it's like a times four thing, it adds up. So, now it's, so then it's two hits and three. So even with my low arcane, I still do way more damage, but only to beasts. If I don't, if I'm not fighting beasts though, then I'm dealing less. Probably. Actually, yeah, probably. So, I might just need to swap it between fire and not, not fire, depending on the area I'm going into. Here. He's going in his corner. Again, if I really don't want him spotting me, I gotta take it slow. I don't really want to fight him legitimately. wasn't enough and I have no clue I I don't want to get spotted by Ganon okay take it slow okay this works Vile, more blood vials. I don't need the HP regen. It's very minor anyway. If it was a better regen, sure. But for now, let's try this again. Okay. 
Nope, get out of there, get out of there. We're kind of getting in the corner. Last one, okay. Of course I get stabbed. I got okay. Oh, of course, I get stabbed there. Get out! Get out! Okay, heal up. Of course he can stab through the freaking pillar. Alright, one left. Okay! So, what have I learned? When he summons the snakes, and I stop him, the snakes still summon. Well, that sucks. And the problem is, even if I get my stuff back consistently, uh, I would have to use a marksman's no, uh, mark or whatever just to try to get it back and level up. So I probably would need to intentionally grind levels if I need to, and at this point, it's probably gonna... F I would probably focus on arcane for some magic defense. This. There we go. Honestly, the most annoying part about this boss is, or about most of the bosses, is the trek getting back. And of course, checkpoints are not really available until after you beat the boss in that area, so that's always annoying. gemstones.
I move any faster, he will hear me. Although I could possibly cut through under there and ignore Ganon, maybe? That's something I might be able to do. I don't know, though. I don't know how... Just leaving another, like, enemy that could be a problem on the field is maybe not a good idea. Okay. Another attempt. With the snakes, I don't even know if I can even target the snake heads. I know they disappear after a bit. So part of me just feels like I just need to step away. What is this? I don't know what that means. I have a lot of blood echoes to spend, but I already know I can't safely get away. Try to take advantage of that when possible. Back away. Two down. There you are. Nope. 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 Got him! Huzzah! Oh, we got the blood rapture. Oh, there we go. Just got into a good groove. 
Oh, that's nice. You know, we're heading... I'm not risking it. We're heading back. I don't know if that's a dead end, and there's just, like, a single item, like, in the witch's area, but I'm just... I'm just playing it safe. I need to level up. And I'm going to level up. Not what I meant to do. Okay, so I ended up getting this. V attacks restore uh, HP plus 200. That's the... Is that the rally? Visceral attacks. I don't think I need that. But you could definitely stack that with the HP. What do I have here? Physical damage? Nah. Physical damage res uh, resistance. I'm repairing. I can't fortify. Leave it be. Okay, as much as I would love to boost HP or stamina, I think I need to boost Arcane. I can only go two levels. Really? Discovery? I don't even know what that does. The chances of enemies dropping items when defeated. Oh, it increases my drop rate. Interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah, I want to boost my magic defense. Farewell, good. May you find your worth in the waking world. So I need 16,000 something to level up. I'll keep that in mind because we may double back. There's nothing new. Let me check the other shop. Let me check over here. Nope. Okay. We're going back. I will keep an eye on my blood echoes. Forbidden grave. Once I hit 16 something or just 17,000. I'm going to backtrack to level up. Let's take a look in here. This seems like a linear hallway. Oh. Come on, get out. Quicksilver bullets. Maybe putting fire back on the saw blade would be a good idea. Double checking. Bergenworth. Okay. How's it going? Well, I just beat the Shadows of Yarham, and now we have made it to Bergenworth. That's what's happening, Hawkhorn Dog. That is what you have missed. I also, after beating the Shadows of Yarahim, I leveled up. I leveled up. Where is it? Arcane by two points for magic defense. 
only to find out about it boosting this stat, which means it increases my item drop rate. I didn't know that. Actually, wouldn't it be better to have Bolt equipped for these guys? Figured. Are these enemies weak to electricity? Because I'll probably swap the saw blade with it. Back away. Okay. These guys are weak to electricity. Okay. I want to try to get a little bit more EXP. Did I miss something up here? What's with that red light? Yeah, I want to try to get a little bit more EXP. What is this? A summon? No thanks. One second. Get that going. You've almost beaten the base game. You're a round up the DLC, then do the final boss. Very nice. Very nice. How much of the DLC do you have left? Do you know? Ah, oh, there you are. Oh, great. Don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. Nope. Get out of there. Get. Get out. I need a heal. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. I'm heading back. Arcane Lake. Isn't that, um... Um... No. I want this. Arcane Resistance. That could be useful when I go up against Martyr. Again. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. I wanted to fight a few enemies so I have enough to level up. That's why I just went on ahead a little bit. You're about midway through, so not much. I think three more bosses? We'll take some backtracking. Okay. Oh, they oh, I did have 30. Okay, I didn't even catch that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, let me heal. Okay, my arcane's at 10. Might do for now. I'm going to boost HP. My strength is probably fine for now. I'm not worried about that. saw blade, we're going to input the bolt gemstone. That should cover it. Burgenworth.
So yeah, you pointed out they just eat up my insight. It doesn't seem like there's a way to get it back, is there? Because as soon as I killed the thing, I didn't get it back. Although, I'm going to be honest, it's not that big of a loss for me. All it's doing is just m now making the game easier. Okay, I could tell they're... Let go of me. I could tell they're weak to the electricity. Yeah, there's no way to get it back. That's kind of annoying. Um, I could tell they're weak, I think, but it looked like it was still the same amount of damage or the same amount of hits that it took. So it didn't really make that much of a difference, I don't think. Oh, great. He grabbed me. It seems like once the frenzy bar fills up, I just take a bunch of damage. What's sedative do? Calms nerves. Is that to reduce uh, frenzy? be honest they don't seem that weak to electricity reduces frenzy okay that's the thing with frenzy that i noticed that it didn't really seem like the uh like with poison once you get hit with some poison oh you're super weak to bolt but once you get hit with like poison it will fill up the bar a bit but then it will slowly drain Frenzy, once you're afflicted by it, it just builds up. And it doesn't seem to stop until it gets full. So I don't know what to do to, like, stop it. Uh, no nothing here. Uh, of course, they aren't weak to it. Bolt also scales off arcane. I knew I knew that much, so I knew my attack wasn't probably going to be that big of a change. However, that one enemy was extremely weak to arcane or to bolt, so that worked out. In this case, it's probably better to have bolt than without it. Oh, great! Just what I need. Just what I need. Two. Oh, great! That thing! I don't like that thing back there. Gonna have to deal with that later. God! Uh, I'm dead. I'm dead. There's Frenzy activating, and I'm probably dead again. The more Cthulhu they are, the more weak they are to bolt. I guess these guys are not full Cthulhu yet. I wonder if these guys are more weak to fire than they are to bolt. But fire is a beast thing, so yeah, they're probably not weak to bolt. Uh, fire. I 
way for you to move forward. Having to not fight two at once is a good idea. That's something. But it might not be a bad idea to start boosting my, my arcane damage. I'm over here, dude. Chase me down. Yeah, that... The charge attack wasn't that much. Not as much as I was gonna hope for. Oh, these guys are weak to fire and bolt. Okay. But... Honestly, swapping into fire would probably be the same amount of damage. So I don't think... Wait, what am I doing? Over here. Yeah, I don't think swapping into fire would make that much of a difference. And if this guy is mostly weak to bolt, I'd rather have that. So I think I just need... I think I just need to boost my uh, arcane... I think that's what I would need to prioritize. That's not enough to level up. Wait, where were you two at? Ah, okay. I couldn't even see you. Okay. Target one. I targeted that one. Oh, great. Okay, one's down. I'm okay with that. I'll take what I can get. Oh, my god. I am full on bullets. I have enough in storage. I can't carry more bullets. I need to use my gun more. I wonder if I parry it when it's, like, hovering in the air. knowledge uh, were you weak to fire no you're about the same I know the gun is not doing much damage, but it's trying to figure out, like, a uh, Great One's Wisdom. That's different. Uh, trying to figure out a parry timing. That's okay. Restock on bullets, I guess. out just in case one sneaks up on me. Oh, there you are. It's not really a parry, but it seems like to, it stops the attack. Well, whether or not it's a true parry or not, it, it stops the attack. And that's useful. Well, 
Well, we open that up. Treasure. Pearl slug. What does that do? Is it even... Oh, summoning. More summonings, okay. Is it a... Pearl slug. It's a chalice ritual, okay. It's probably gonna be useful for later. There, get another way inside, I guess. Great. Just what I need. A hunter. And you have a lot of defense. I don't even know what you're trying to do with that mist. I hope that doesn't happen again. Blue elixir. You have a lot of stats and de defenses. I'm not gonna summon. When the red moon hangs low, the line between man and beast is blurred. And when the great ones descend, a womb will be blessed with a child. With child. Okay, there's a ladder here. Uh, let me check the other side. I didn't really look. Oh, did I? Okay, that's locked. I didn't really look over here. Oh, piece of paper. More lore? The spider hides all manner of rituals, certain to reveal nothing. For true enlightenment need not be shared. Treasure! Student uniforms. Okay. Okay, uh, there doesn't seem to be anything else here. Let's go up the... Up the ladder. There's something here. You got a key? I think that goes downstairs. What's here? There's something here. Okay. Yeah, fall. Oh, you're hanging on by your leg. Can I... There we go. Got some treasure. Okay. Okay, 
now I need to go back to the door. Oh, you didn't drop anything. Take the ladder down. I gained some insight. It's pointing me over there. You know, when you gain insight, that tells me a boss is nearby. Okay, I'm going over here. Okay, you're not going to shoot at me. Am I supposed to jump off? Stare at the moon. Become a werewolf. Is this something where I need to come back later, or am I missing something? Hmm. What's this say? Take a step forward. Fall off. Moonside Lake. Okay. Oh, it's Rom. The spider. Oh my god, there's a lot of spiders. Okay. Um. Throw it farther, my dude. Okay, not much. Okay, you, you just take about three hits. That's not bad. You didn't die. I hope these are the only spiders and he doesn't respawn them. Or if he does respawn them, it's after a little while after I kill him. Isn't there? No? Okay, I got it all. Okay. He's teleporting. And he summons more spiders. Okay. Ice storms. You gotta be careful. You know what? You're in glitch out because Twitch app sucks. Jump down and you should be fine. Right. No, I I I I found Rom. I found Rom. Right now I want to get my stuff back. And honestly, I think 
Honestly, I think just heading up to the boss will probably be fine. I don't think I need much else. And I could go ahead and put my Bold Hunter's Mark. Oh good, the, the guy's not here. My stuff's in the in here. Okay. I think my blood echoes are in the boss fight. Where's my stuff? Where's my stuff? I can't pick up my stuff if I can't. Oh, there it is. You were, this was the boss you were asking questions about yesterday? Yeah, now that... Yeah, I remember you guys talking about Rom. Or, yeah, Rom. I should be able to level up. Okay. Equipping the hammer and bolt paper... I was actually just wondering if he was even weak to electricity. Because I was thinking of maybe testing out fire. Because it didn't really... The spiders take three hits. With my current saw blade. Yeah, I wanted to do some, like, some testing. This one was HP, yeah, HP regen. So I was thinking of testing out fire and see if it's, if there's any more, any extra damage. But, I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to test out fire and see if it works. Can I fortify? No. Yeah, I didn't really pick up anything. However, one thing I will do, I will reduce uh, arcane damage. He has a lot of arcane damage. I think that'll be better for me. As well as the boss at the castle. Oh, wait, can I buy new things? Can I buy anything new? Put that back. No? Really? Nothing new. It's kind of annoying. But I have to find certain... Uh, certain items. I basically have to find this stuff. Hmm. Yeah, the power of my saw blade goes up if I do that. At least no matter what, your defense goes up, no matter what you boost. I'm not worried about poison. Stamina, not really at the moment. And I could get a good... Man, you get a lot of HP out of this. But I think I need some extra magic resistance and I guess some extra power. Okay. 
Okay. Sawblade has fire right now. I want to see if it takes three hits against the spiders. Because I'm assuming whatever they're weak to, uh, Rom is weak to as well. Okay, so he may be weak to fire as well, but still about the same amount of hits. But we'll test it out against Rom. So yeah, I want to see if the spiders take three hits. Because that's how much it took with the electricity. And I know I boost up my arcane by one level, but... One level probably wouldn't make that much of a difference. Rom, Rom doesn't attack on this first phase, which is nice. Now, focus on... Two, two, three. About the same... But I've noticed there's a lot more damage if I hit, like, the face. But it's still the same amount of damage. Or the same amount of hits. It's like the first couple hits are just trying to get through the... The exoskeleton. probably shoot him when he does that. The trade-off with, uh, if I were to try using the hammer instead, like, uh, with fire paper, uh, I, if I use the hammer, I lose access to gun. Okay. Okay, he seems more weak to bolt. That's not much damage. Well, it's still good damage. He's not... Phase 1, he's not doing much. You don't, counterpoint, I don't use gun. I'm... Now that I have max bullets, I'm like, okay, I need to actually try to get better. Okay, where'd he go? Now he's gonna freaking throw ice at me. Okay, whatever. If I die, well, I died. But okay, so Rom himself seems like he's actually weak to thunder or bolt. I it seemed like I was doing more damage to him when I had the bolt one. And if that's the case, then maybe we will use bolt paper on the hammer. But I need to do something about how to deal with that ice attack. Yeah, I can't I can't buy bolt paper. That's the annoying part right now. Hmm. 
Yeah, I only have access to fire paper. I could test it out again. And... Uh... I could test it out again. I could throw out bolt paper on my uh, hammer. So... Because I have four. And I'll apply it to the hammer. But I only have a few shots at it. The faces on the spiders and on Rom. Those are rocks. I'm hitting... Oh, they are weak to the other sides of their faces. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that was a rock. Pretty worth. I thought that was like a fleshy part of them. I did not realize that was a rock. So I need to somehow get around uh, their face. Okay. Didn't know that. Uh, actually, question then. Would it be better for blunt damage then? Would blunt damage kind of kind of pierce through that rock shell then? If so, then the hammer with electricity would work fine, right? Okay, in this case, let me test something else. We're right about the three hits on the spider. Two hits to hit Sagar, then, which makes him vulnerable. Okay, so I'm getting the right idea, but wrong conclusion, I guess. The two hits just stagger them, so I don't hit their rock face. Okay, hold on. Now, that doesn't really work because I hit, I hit him from the side. I want to test out Blunt against the rock. That didn't really seem to work either. Okay. Just kind of testing thing, testing the waters. Yeah, I'm hitting like the uh, his under, like underneath him. So I'm getting past the. I, I see I see what you're talking about. Yeah, it's more like a two hit KO with with this strat. Alright. That's a lot of damage. Oh my god, look at that. Oh, let's see if I can pull that off again. Oh my god. That's going to be the most annoying part about this. Okay. Get rid of the other spiders. Uh. 
Come on, come on, get out of there, get out of there. Okay. When I swap weapons, it takes away the buff. I had a feeling that would be the case. But I also think that the the hammer might be too slow, right? Mom doesn't stagger with face hits. I noticed that. But it's easy to get around him. Oh! The gun doesn't stagger. I guess that entire time... I lost everything. I guess that entire time I was just... I, I just backed away enough. I thought the gun stopped that attack. Never mind. Well, it didn't stop it, but, like, whatever. Okay. Yes, my zero blood echoes. Okay. So... I know I deal a lot of damage with this weapon if I do the full charge, but it's also very difficult to get the spires in time. I could, you know what, I'll, I'll just try with this. I could just try with this then. Doesn't apply to I use blunt weapons when I know an enemy staggers. DPS isn't high, but they aren't going to attack back when you stagger them and break their pose. So, with the spiders, I tried attacking them slowly. Am I... No, I'm still probably better off attacking from the side. Let's try it. I don't have... I don't have many bolt paper, though. All right. As long as I don't swap weapons. It's not one hit KO because I hit the hit the rock. Oh, I lost the bolt. It is a temporary buff. So I kind of just wasted that. Yeah, on the side. Had to get them from the side. Alright. We already know this dealt this deals a lot of damage, but I have like no more paper. Oh, I did hit him. 
If you get papers later in the game, my bolt slot should win the boss fight either way. Yeah, I'm probably better off not wasting the bolt paper. Honestly, I dealt a lot of damage without it anyway. Keep an eye out. Heal up. All right, doing this again. Oh, wait, there's one more. I'd rather make sure I get rid of all the goons. Oh, I was doing fine. Is a hair miss boss for some. I don't like it because of spider of the spiders, but I don't hate the fight in itself. Honestly, this fight ain't that bad. I don't need the bolt paper. I really don't. Honestly, the the fight is really not that bad. Time to head back. But yeah, if I actually use the bolt paper on the hammer against him and do full charge shots, it'd probably go a lot faster. But I don't have many, and it's kind of clear that I don't need it. Hell, you might not even need to actually get rid of the spiders. You can maybe get away with not attacking them and ignoring them. Maybe. He 
you just kind of clear them out just to get rid of potential goons. He won't disappear. Rom won't disappear until you hit him. I'm not getting much of my health back. You ready for this? I know you're not. All right. Keep moving, keep dodging. Oh, that was his get away from me, okay. Okay. Get away. Okay. I gotta keep my ear out to listen to his sound effect. That one. Oh, I see his stupid mouth. Didn't really get a good opportunity to look at his design. Is there one more spider? Two more spiders. Go for it. Done. <clears throat> Not bad. Not bad. Ah, oh, there's my way out. Oh. 
I think I could farm those papers. The one area with the with those two back dudes and the two other dudes that grab and stab me to death. The back dude drops them at a low, low rate. There was a boss there that if I beat, will drop something for papers. Okay. Well, that wasn't that bad. Got rid of a giant, giant spider. Something about the blood moon, or moon turning red and a baby will be born, basically. Something like that. Or if not born, uh, basically Jesus Christ did. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it seems to imply like a Virgin Mary situation when there's a red moon like that. Yeah, two bosses down. I'm making progress. The ritual secret broken. Seek the nightmare newborn. Oh. This place. Right. Are you going to grab me? Well, he tried to. Yahargul, Unseen Village. Okay. I don't think electricity is needed in this area. But so far, there's not another lamp. Why did I get teleported here? That's the same room where I got captured by the big creature and sent me to the, uh, the, what was it? The nightmare realm or whatever. Oh, there's more of you. Just what I like to see. Wouldn't mind finding a lamp soon. There it is. Well, we made progress, that's for sure. Okay. Uh, let me double check. Is there anything new to buy? Probably not. No, there isn't. Is there anything new to buy here? We can buy lead elixirs. Shifts weight to deflect attacks. Slows movement with no change to defense. I don't fully understand what that does. But I don't need anything out of here. Okay, so... Yeah, I think when you told me that, I was already in the middle of the boss fight. So hold on, give me a minute. Let me do that. I don't think I need fire or bolt going forward for now. I think the areas that I'm going to don't need it. Now 
going to level up. Welcome, oh, what is it? Very well. Let me stand close. All right. Um Yeah, more HP, I guess. HP and defense. Oh, take a look at this. If I boost strength, my saw blade only goes up by a single point in, in damage. The hammer, on the other hand, goes up by three. Is strength basically at this soft cap now? Is that what that means? Yeah, we'll, we'll boost that. Okay, so you were saying that if I went to Hippo Gingal, if I went there, the bag dudes could drop paper, but it was rare. But now that I beat Rom, they won't drop paper. Or they're not even there. So I have... Hmm. Okay, well, let me look at my options of where we can go. Can't see the number but strength. Strength is better than all our stats. Unless you're specifically going for an arcane build, but yeah, I don't know about some of the other stats. But we're not at that soft cap yet. It's hard to tell. Okay, so my options are, I'm trying to think. I can go back to the clinic. Because now I was told, I was it was mentioned that beating, uh, don't, beat the boss in, or don't go up the stairs in the clinic until I beat Rom. Not sure why. Tried to teleport to the Unseen Village. It's this one. Okay. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not really doing an arcane run, but how good is summoning? Okay, I'm here. What about the Unseen Village? Should I just continue a bit? Maybe that will explain things. Thane is guarding the... Yeah, this thing, this thing is guarding the entryway. Okay, you're not moving. So, uh... The Hypergoal area. I can't go there anymore? I'll go to something. It varies from boss to boss. Okay. Okay, you're saying I can't go to hype. Uh, I can't go to the other place. Let me check then. I want to double check. I want to see what what's going on.
Function unavailable. I see. Hmm. I guess it'll, it'll explain why. Probably has to do with the Unseen Village. I can also go back to Nightmare Frontier. I haven't even found the boss of that area. Uh, what'd you miss, Lord Jefferson? Uh, I beat the Shadows of Yarum. Then I beat Rom. So now I have access to the Unseen Village, but I can't go back here. That is what you have missed. And I'm trying to figure out what I want to do now. I could continue the Unseen Village, because I basically just got there. I could go back to Nightmare Frontier. I could go back to Kanehurst. Already did that. We, we did this. I think this whole section right here is cleared out. I don't think we need to do anything in this in this section. Odin Chapel. Great Bridge, Tomb of Ordian. I guess it's been a while. Uh, I need cath Cathedral Ward, then? Or do I need to go to Grand Cathedral? What, uh... Probably Cathedral Ward. Yeah, it's also been a while since I've been to this chapel. Oh, and I can also go back to the clinic. Because I think you said, hold off going up the stairs until I beat Rom. Okay, so I can't get I, I can't get items from you. Not anymore. What about you? What do you say? Basically, everyone in the town is uh, basically done. I hear a baby cry though. Well, she's gone insane. Yeah, you've gone insane too. Okay, so everyone here has basically just gone insane. step out here right the mask guy's not here oh I see I see what's happening <laughs> okay Yeah, the sky is all, like, dark blue, purple. The moon's, like, orange, red. These giant Cthulhu monsters are here. In sight. In, in, just in plain sight. Okay. Uh, basically, after the boss, Michael Lange. 
Schizo powers active. Baby noise is engaged. Yeah, we're just hearing the baby. The baby. I haven't even played Other M. Uh, head up to where I vile Amelia. Up the stairs. Never mind. I cannot. I can't warp. Oh, I can't warp there. It's a good thing you mentioned that. I would have tried warping there. But yeah, I probably wouldn't even have thought to go and check this section. Oh, there's an item there. Was it always there? Oh well. I still haven't gotten that one. The giant's not here either. Oh no, the giant's sleeping, that's right. That's right. The giants basically sleep until I get close. Masked men are not here. Okay, so what's going on then? You meant this chapel, right? Rom has the power to hide those things. You can see them with enough of Madman's... Uh, with, an, with enough insight, you can see them. But normally, you can't until you get rid of Rom. So, basically, these things were always here. But now that we killed uh, Rom, everyone can see these giant Cthulhu things. Did I help Eileen? I didn't even find her. Who who's Eileen? Hunter the Hunter of Hunters? Nope, that doesn't sound familiar. Seems like this game has a lot of missable things. Well, I don't know where else to go. Except to maybe teleport and just continue on with a different area. So now that it's too late, who's Aline? I could go up. To, yeah, uh, I could go up to the clinic. Yeah, we could we could do that section. That probably won't take that much time. Oh, maybe I should have had electricity back on my weapon. Oh well. We'll see if I can We'll see if I need it or not. She's an NPC that gives you a convenient rune, some cool armor, and one of the best skills best. Okay, so where was she at then? Wait, did it go wrong way? Wrong way. It seems like this game lets you just maybe not literally go everywhere, but it kind of lets you go to almost every area of the game if you are determined enough. So maybe that's part of the problem. Like if you want to do absolutely everything, you're going to have to ignore a couple bosses and just go to every area and see what you can do. After a while, before you kill Amelia, she is by the railing right outside the Cathedral Ward. I guess I just never found her. I... Cathedral Ward... 
And after round she she's up the stairs. Ah, oh, I guess I just missed her then. To be fair, uh sometimes it's just kinda hard to see. But yeah, I, I it just sounds like I just happened to miss her. That one is optional. Oh, okay. Okay. Well then. Okay, she must be repeating. Have you felt it? A breath of I lamp plus a mod that makes the game brighter a bit. Uh, part okay. To be fair, part of it was with the first few streams. It was harder to see on my monitor than it is to look at my stream and look at the screen. I did turn up the brightness on my stream on my monitor, and that helped. So that might have been part of it. Okay, so so basically here it just seems like I can either leave her alive or kill her, is what you're saying. They ain't got free will. I can't. I know I can. I know I can. Uh, just walk away. Uh, you can just threaten us. Kill her. Do it. Kill her. Do it, Anakin. Do it. Do it. Once. Oh. Okay. Well, that, that's done. She's evil. She ain't even a real lady either. Okay, so. Yeah, things just did get a little weird. Okay. She was obviously going insane. She is killing anyone that I send here. Or doing experiments. Whatever works. So, explain to me why I needed to wait till after ROM. And I think maybe explain, does anything happen if I just left her be? It seems like that's all there is to this place. Am I going the right way? No, I'm... No, I'm not going the right way. Well, I'm kind of glancing at my stream. Uh, Maybe my monitor could be a little brighter. Here, let me try to make a comparison. Yeah, I think my monitor could be a bit brighter. That could make a difference. It's definitely better than what... Oh, okay. It's definitely better than what I had it before. Now, how do I get out of here? I need to go this way. Around. 
around. Okay, we could probably just go ahead and head back. She will try to kill if she'll try to kill me if I go up there before Rom and leaving her leaving her be makes me lose access to an ending. Hmm. It's not putting me on a path to an ending. It's just more of giving me the option to choose an ending at the very end. Okay. Um all right, so, and I, I'm guessing, ultimately, that's what, where is it? Is it a key item? No, where is it? So, I'm, I'm guessing, getting these three items determines the endings. One ending requires three thirds. Okay, so one of the endings requires all of these. Okay. Anyway. But leaving her alive basically does nothing. I see. Leaving her alive does nothing, but I, based on what you're saying is, if I progress even farther, then I lose access to it. Is that what's happening? Well, anyway. This section is mostly cleared out. Except for if I go here... And try to go to that old town where I got caught by the bagman. I still have that option. Yeah, you didn't need to be specific. Uh oh, you're you were talking to Hawkorn. Okay, whatever. Um everything here is cleared out. I don't think there's anything left in this section that I know of. We got the Unseen Village, and we got Kanehurst. So, I could go. I could go back to Kanehurst and fight again. Part of me feels like I need more magic defense, though. But those are options. And we have Nightmare Frontier. It's been a while since I've been to Nightmare Frontier. But you know what? Um. I don't know how much magic defense I need. Let's go. You know what? Let's go to Nightmare Frontier. It's been a while. Let's explore this section. I didn't even fully explore it. I don't even think I made it to a boss. I don't even think I made it to a boss. I just kind of left because the enemies were kind of too strong, I guess. Oh, right. Maybe uh, fire would, wouldn't be that bad. Start. I forgot. Yeah, fire wouldn't be too bad against these guys. Oh, right. I died to, like, frenzy or something. From, like, the poison. Poison section. Well, I'm getting more of those. So maybe I'll get like a better like status effect added on. Been a while since we've been here.
so one thing is I remember getting shoved down here down there where those Cthulhu things are and that's like a poison river or poison bog I ended up in the dead end and it might have been in there actually and I just died to like a frenzy or something He also pushes people off ledges. Oh, that's a FromSoft, like, that's a FromSoft thing? Okay. Like a Sid in Final Fantasy or something, okay. I wouldn't have guessed. Okay. I already took out like the witch ringing the bell that was like over there. Same thing as the Moonlight Sword. Okay. Just a reoccurring uh, cameo? Is that probably the... That's probably the right word. Got a lead elixir. Perfect. I know there's another beast down here. Pretty sure I checked that. Anyway. Okay, there's the poison bog. I could go in here. This led to the witch thing, okay. They're chasing after me. They only die in a couple hits. Or at least that one did. Not too bad. Could wait out the poison, or I could uh, just use a item. Only one lamp. Lots of shortcuts. Okay. I guess I gotta keep that in mind. I'm gonna need to have antidotes on standby. Question is, do I want to move through this way? Slow poison resistance. Church... White church. White church. Tomb, okay. Surgical. Wait, why are there two of these? Why do I have two? Do I even need two? Okay. I don't even know if this is making that much of a difference. Oh no, I'm poisoned. I should probably just hold off until I get out of the bog. Oh, that's a rapid poison right there. Who's throwing... There you are. 
Really? Okay, fine, whatever. There's, there's one up there, huh? Okay. This is not annoying whatsoever. And to be honest, I don't even know if building up poison resistance was even worth it. to a cave. This leads me to... Alright, the, the brain thing. Oh, it's just... It's raising frenzy. That's how I died. Rolling through makes me p become poisoned faster. That makes sense. That makes sense. I believe that. If only there was a way to lower frenzy. I don't know how, other than having the sedative. Dead. I don't like these things. Insight makes it build slower. Or build faster. Okay. I wouldn't have guessed. Hmm. I may also take a different route anyway. Because I'm more mad. I see. I guess that makes sense. I think instead of going through that poison bog, honestly, that was really annoying. Oh, there's an item here. More knowledge. I think I'm going to go this way instead. That's not annoying at all. All right. I'm gonna go this way. I think this led to basically where those giants were, yes. Okay, whatever. That's not annoying. Swapping my armor back. I don't even know if this is what I had. I had that. I had... I just want something else.
Yeah, I'm gonna go back to where those giants were, because I remember when I was heading that direction, that's when I got shoved off the edge. Go this way. I'm gonna go back down to this cave. Seriously, getting hit by the rock is a one-hit KO. Okay, fine game. Thank you. Just what I need. I better just ignore the guy. Yeah, I better just ignore him. Rock doesn't work. Use bigger rock. We hit him with a rock. It was a big rock. I believe that was Killer Croc in animated series. I am slowly trying to get back there. I get rid of enemies, I guess, for blood echoes, I guess. Yeah, maybe I should hit the giant with a bigger rock. I don't have a bigger rock. I do have a club, though. I do have a club. That, I mean, that works, right? I'm just going to ignore this thing. Oh, good. One hit KOs. That's nice. Gotta be careful, there's like, there's more that can see me. Uh, yeah, that one up there. Come on, heal up. There we go. back down here and go this way and just keep moving that was close 
god. This is not annoying at all. I think I remember last time I tried going up here, I kind of ignored that second one. It wasn't as annoying as the first one or the third one. All right, we need the drill. There's only f I can still go back to that chalice dungeon and fight the fire dog thing. That's not a shard. I don't need that. Not really. Okay. Yeah, my stuff is going to be higher up, if not taken by an enemy. Wouldn't have been you anyway. Swap to my saw blade. Oh, you have my stuff. So gotta be careful. The other guy can hit me. What do you have? Okay. Okay, I made it up here before. I'm trying to remember where I need to go. Yeah, I opened that up, and that led to... Is that a different area? Okay, wait a minute. I came from in there. I could cross this bridge. And I think that's where I got shoved. If I go up this way... Ooh, I need more of those. This just kind of leads to a dead end. But that could be a guaranteed drop, for all I know. I think I need to cross the bridge, and this is where I got shoved. I think. Oh, right! I followed the gold. Okay, that's right. I'm guessing that's a consistent thing that happens. If I just go back to that spot, I'll get shoved again. I can hit him. There we go. Okay. Recognize where I am. This lets me get a madman's knowledge. I really 
really can't see. Okay, we're still in a cave. Is that a... This is a pathway. Leads out here. And I think it's a one-way trip down. I think. Not 100% sure on that. If I go this way... Big guy? Can I get to him? I can't even get to him? Well, that's not annoying at all. Stunning deep sea. That's new. Let me take a look. Rapid poison resistance. That could be useful. Okay. I feel like I went the wrong direction, but it also seems like I need to head that way. All right. Keep running. Oh no, I'm poisoned. I think it interrupted my potion. There we go. Yeah, that, that guy up there. Okay. Let me take a look. Um, oh, right, I was here. Frenzy, that's right. Okay. Kind of wish I had electricity still. Ah, uh, that does a lot of damage. Using the hammer on him staggers him a lot. So that's a good idea. So I know you said having more insight uh, makes the frenzy gauge go up faster. However, how do I lower the frenzy gauge? Because it, it just seems to rise and there's nothing I can really do to lower it. It's just once I'm starting to get affected by that status effect, that's it. That man's knowledge. Uh, someone singing. And we have an elixir. Okay. Or a lead elixir. I'm still not sure what that actually does. So, yeah, there's equipment... Uh, you're, you're saying Grey Hunter? Do I even... I have Grey Wolf. That's different. But yeah, the, there's the Frenzy Resistance. But my question is, if it starts building, how do I lower the gauge? Is 
If it starts, you hope it stops before it finishes. Okay. That's just kind of annoying. Where at? I'm at about. I'm at a boss, aren't I? Hold on. I know you said there was only one lamp. But I wonder if there's a shortcut. There. That must be a shortcut up there. Hold on. Let me go and do, take care of that very quick. A shortcut, you know. Gotta find that shortcut. Yeah, there it is. This is my way back up. There we go. I want to make sure that's unlocked. And you know what? I might as well go back and level up. Just, you know, so I don't lose everything. Oh, geez. The boss arena is just right there. Just in plain sight. Where's my... There we go. Frenzy is like a time bomb. Okay. But... There is a breather period where if you're not being affected by it for whatever reason, and you don't get affected by it again, it could start draining. Let me repair. A gem. Yeah, I thought I got some new ones. Sharp scaling. Bolt. Temporary. Okay, just a pure physical attack up. I think I'd rather have that. We'll get into the abyss. There are pillars in both the Nightmare Realms and in the Hunter's Dream. Oh. I mean, so they're on similar planes of existence, more or less. Yeah, I'm seeing the same 6.3%. So basically, it's, if, do I want to make it more of a physical attack? Fire elemental, electric elemental. It's been a while. I probably have a few gems. I should definitely like, get rid of some of these. Arcane attack up. Again, that's just base magic attack. Add rapid poison effect to the weapon. Okay, but I don't think I will use that. Weapon durability down. That doesn't sound good. Anyway. And... Okay. That's something. Don't think I could buy anything new, so let's just level up. Well quoted. Very well, let me. I think I'll just Wait. It's a Lovecraft inspired thing. Each dream is connected in a way by layers. Ah, oh, okay. And also those like brain enemies are kinda Lovecraftian. Yeah, I'm only getting one point of strength more by doing this. At least for my saw blade. Hmm, what's more important? Honestly, I don't even know if I really need endurance, but it does boost my resistance. Ever so slightly. Eh, yeah, why not? Farewell, good hunter. May you 
Okay, I need to go back up here. Nightmare. Yeah, I definitely wanted to make sure I unlocked that shortcut. So I'm like, wait, that's a boss arena. There has to be a faster way here. And changing the saw blade to bolt wouldn't be the worst. For probably most of these enemies, if not bolt, then fire. But I don't know anything about the boss, so I'm going to hold off. I want to see what the boss is before I make that decision. kind of funny how like you can exit that cave look to the right and be like well there's the belt there's the boss arena now how do i get over there it's kind of like dragon quest one in that sense leave the first town well there's the final castle but how do i get there all right Oh, hi there. Oh, it's one of these things. Okay. Okay, so I can attack the hands. Or the arms, whatever. Okay, I can attack the head or basically the spine. That's what it's letting me target. But that deals a lot less damage right there. At least I think it did. Hard to hit him. Oh, that helps. Nope, didn't make it in time. that wrong. I see the timing windows, but like, it's very short.
quick attacks, I guess. That's all I really have time for. Oh, he ripped off his own arms. Now he has more range. Come on. Oh, I died. I don't even know what, what I even got hit by. Skill increases the damage I do on a visceral. So this is a visceral enemy. Okay. I don't know how skill increases damage to this type of enemy, but I guess it does. Or is that a visceral, the critical hit thing? It's one where I, yeah, okay. Yeah, I caught myself. But, so, is he weak to electricity? I don't know if he's, like, a... Basically, a Lovecraftian-type enemy or not. I would think he is. But I don't know if he is. He is weak to electricity. I could add electricity to my blade. However... I can't do that for my hammer unless I use paper and I only have like two. Might just stick with that, what I have. Come on. I just want my stuff. twice. Okay. Lock on to him. God, I, I sometimes hate the lock on. Doesn't want to work all the time. More of that, please.
Oh, I thought I avoided the explosion. Okay, he ripped off his arms. Now he has more range. Yeah, that's not much damage. I can't tell what I'm even doing right now. Get out of the corner. Dodge. I hate that he could do that three times. Get out of the way. I can't see. He's close. Oh, poison. I can't make it. I gotta heal. God, come on. That was close. That was very close. Oh, that was close. Hey, Pikachu. How's it going? Well, I guess I could have Molotov at that point. That was close. I don't know, my my brain just kind of forgot. Okay, um... Is that all that's here, then? There doesn't seem to be... The boss is the only thing that drops something. There's n doesn't seem more to this area. Either way, going back... Two great ones down today. Wow, I'm making progress. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, I beat Rom. I beat this guy, Shadows Yorin. Uh, yeah, made a lot of progress. Well, what is it? Very well. Let me. I want. What do I want to boost? Yeah, we'll just boost HP, it's fine. Farewell, good hunter. Okay. And that was a another chalice, I believe. Not that I can activate it. But I have it. Let me go ahead and See if I need to repair. Come on, there we go. Honestly, weapon durability doesn't really seem like it's mattering all that much. I think I'll just save my stuff. Oh wait, no, yeah, boost the cannon, which I haven't even really used. There we go. The cannon's at six. Whenever I do decide to use it. Okay. What's next? So. 
this area seems to be cleared out. I can't... Or oh, Amy Dalla. Amy Godala. Yeah, that's cleared out. I think that's all good. Whoops. This whole section is cleared out. This section, other than that old town with the bad guy, is cleared out. Which, that might be connected over here. So, other than the chalice with the fire dog... Oh, we have Kanehurst. Let's go Kanehurst. We'll try the boss a few times. See if I can make more progress. I did boost my arcane for defense. So we'll see how well this goes. Oh yeah, how's it going on your end, Pikachu? Yeah, so far, I'm making a ton of progress. Just like ignoring all of you. Yeah, go ahead and scream. It's totally gonna do something. I think I could go ahead and swap to my hammer. Drop down here. Yeah, I was getting the pattern okay for phase one. It's just when we get to phase two, I need to do something about uh, those swords. I could also swap to armor that boosts arcane. All right, at full health. My saw blade is a physical weapon, so I that should do do better damage if I need it. Let's go. Okay, you're setting up another one. Way. Yeah, I gotta get the pattern correctly. He's moving in a similar pattern, like the shadows of Yarham are. Try to dodge that. It's too bad I don't have enough time to charge for that attack. I could deal big damage, but I will also take a lot of damage. Okay, it's this explosion. Phase two. Oh. 
Oh, I see. I'm trying to target him. There we go. Well, I did okay in phase one. I saw the sword that I needed to target to get rid of the onslaught. That's fine. It's the rest of the attack. I wonder if I should actually go with uh, my saw blade instead for faster attacks or the silver sword. I'm wondering if the hammer's too slow in phase two for him. Even if I'm only trying to get a single attack in with the saw blade, I think I just need the faster DPS. Or just to actually hit him. Get rid of my stamina. It's fine. Whatever. Yeah, I'll give this guy a couple tries. We'll see how far I can get. Maybe I need to boost Arcane a little bit more. Get some better resistance. But then we can also just go to... The Unseen Village. All right, round two for today. I just realized I have like 40 insight. But I like just don't feel the need to spend it. There's nothing I really want. tried. Right, I gotta be careful, because I don't know which attack he's going for. There is a tell. Okay. Oh, nope, never mind. I thought there was a tell. Charge attack takes way too much time. 
I can't really hit him. I maybe could have hit him there, but I think I would have still been trapped in the explosion. Okay, phase two. Wait, oh, he set it up again, I see. Come on, get away from your stupid sword. Dang it. Man, I'm low on potions. Dead. Okay. He just kept. He just kept spamming that sword move. Okay. I wasted a lot of potions. On that fight. Again, phase one is not that bad. I just gotta figure out how to deal with phase two. I wonder if more range would be better. Go with this. Not sure. Oh good, they barely screamed. Yeah, take my stamina. Let me get back to where he's at. Phase one is kind of figured out. When I get to phase two, I could maybe get a charge attack in, or I could just get a hit or two in and then back away. When he places the sword down, I want to either have the silver sword or go with the saw blade that I have that way I have access to my gun. That's a good option. That's a good thing. Um, I think I just need to mess around a little bit more. Maybe I can make it work with the hammer. I just need to maybe dodge towards him to get behind him. There's my blood. Didn't work. Right again. If 
only it was way more obvious for me when he's moving to phase two on the health bar side. I'm pretty sure he's going to be moving to it here in a second. Oh, I didn't realize I was that close. Phase two, uh, no, we're gonna wait. Saw blade. Setting it up again? He really wants that sword. There we go. And I did stun him. I saw that. Oh, come on. Knock it off with that. Couldn't make it work. I tried. Hmm. Oh, great. The cat wants something. Uh, you know what? I'm going to step away for a minute. I'm pretty sure this is a... Let me go over here. It's a pretty good spot if I go next to the elevator. What's behind here? Did I ever look? Not really. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to step away for a second. Figure out what the cat wants. Maybe let the dog out. Take care of a couple things. BRB.
Okay, I am back. Did I die? No, I'm fine. I'll let the dog out, figure out what the cat wanted. He wanted more water. Although, he could just whine again. And if that happens, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna have to take care of that. But for now, let's hope... Let's hope the cat doesn't want anything more. All right. Oh, come on, come on. Fine, there we go. Oh, why did I get knocked down? Okay. So I'm thinking that maybe in his phase two, I am able to still maybe use the hammer, but when he uses a physical attack, I have to dodge towards him, basically get to his back, and then maybe I could get it hit in there. However, if he wants to use his jump attack, I would need to swap to this and then gun. And then swap back, basically. Takes a little bit more prep. So I am not sure what the better route is. But if he sets the sword down, though, I am better off swapping to my uh, saw blade or just unequipping. And do something like that. Where's my stuff? There it is. Oh, come on. I was nowhere near that. problem with using the saw blade he doesn't get staggered with a single hit from it that is a problem we're already at phase two huh okay are you gonna do that again that didn't work. Did I time it wrong? Okay, I think I messed up the timing, but that worked out. That's what I need. That's what I need. Okay. I tried to dodge past him. Didn't work out. 
I just realized I forgot something. Uh, I forgot something very quick. I'm gonna s I'm gonna step away again. But I shouldn't be too that I shouldn't be too long. Just a second. I'll be back just a second. I'm not gonna even swap to BRB because I should just be quick. Oh hey, we got a raid. Uh, how's it going, Nor uh, Northy X? What were you playing? And you know what? Let me do. Let me do the thing I keep forgetting to do. Uh, let's see. Northy X. There you go. We'll do a shout out. How's it going? Made some progress today on my end. Currently trying to fight uh, uh, the Mater up here. Forget his name. But so far, uh, made a lot of progress. I defeated Norm. Uh, Rom. It's not Norm. And I defeated uh, Amy Gala, or whatever her name is. The creature in the Nightmare far plane thing so I made progress currently going to back to the boss Yeah, what's going on? I'm assuming you were playing Bloodborne as well? What were you just working on? First playthrough, same here. Literally just started the game. Oh, okay. And thanks for the follow, North EX. Uh, yeah, you're, uh, this game is definitely... Uh, not interesting. That's not the word I was going to use. It's uh, definitely... I had to get used to it for the beginning of the game. Definitely no Kingdom Hearts 2. How's my playthrough going? It's going pretty well. Not as annoying as I thought it was going to be. But I guess that's what level 1 runs of Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 do to you. When those runs were a lot harder than this. <laughs> Just a normal playthrough of Bloodborne. Yeah, right now I'm trying to beat Logarius. I could get through phase one. It's when I get to phase two is where I have some trouble. Saying whether or not to start KH or Bloodborne, all oh, that is hilarious. Except when I was doing Kingdom Hearts, uh, it was a level one run. So definitely far more challenging. I'm assuming you were just talking about normal playthroughs of Kingdom Hearts. I can at least get one hit in there. Oh, of course I was... I didn't get the crit. Did not get the crit. 
and I couldn't escape. Okay, I'll drop alert. This has been on your desk all day. Plus, I haven't, I haven't got this far, so spoilers. Yeah, that is so true. Would have been your first play. Oh, Kingdom Hearts would have been your first playthrough as well. Okay. Yeah, if you treat that as a normal playthrough, definitely not as difficult as... Definitely far easier than Bloodborne. That I, I can at least say that for certainty. But no, like, if I, I know you might not consider that, but if you ever did a level 1 run of Kingdom Hearts 1, it prepares you for this. It prepares you for Bloodborne. <laughs> I'm not exaggerating. But yeah, if you're gonna go lurk, have a good rest of your day. Enjoy the background noise. Also enjoy the emotes. The follower ones. Stupid ghosts. I'm, I'm not afraid of, afraid of no ghosts. They're just kind of annoying because they keep screaming at me. head back up here but yeah uh even though this is my first playthrough of bloodborne but it's actually my also my first soulsborne game as well so just my first in like this genre to begin with and just in general don't know how many more times i want to give this boss more attempts but I may just go to a different area and move on and maybe get some levels. All right, try it again. Yeah, go ahead, summon your death ball. I want to get rid of that chair anyway. Oh, I thought you would have done the upper slash. Okay. Or the overhead slash. Okay. Never mind. I was expecting one, but I got a different attack. one we gotta be close not bad I'm taking it oh that worked oh I was just in range of the explosion okay I need my gun I hate the lock on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Destroy that. I don't know why it wasn't being destroyed, but okay. So after two hits, he got stunned. That's nice. KH level one harder than this or easier? KH level one is, har I think, harder. <laughs> I 
How's it going, Caleb? I mean, that's the thing. Uh, I'm allowed to level up during this playthrough. <laughs> so, no, if this was like a level one run, this would definitely be way harder for sure. But a level one run of Kingdom Hearts versus just a normal playthrough of Bloodborne, I think Kingdom Hearts is harder. Especially once you get to like post game stuff. Oops. Yeah, hey, what's going on, Caleb? Oh yeah, Caleb, I know you're playing TCG Park Pocket. Uh I'm guessing you saw the Lapras event going on right now. It's going you got Onyx deck going. Yeah, uh, I've been trying to work on the Lapras stuff yesterday. Uh, I've been using, like, the rental Pikachu, Pikachu deck that it gives me, and that deck is really good. But I want to try to make that deck a little bit permanent, but I need to get the right, you know, gotcha drops, basically. Just need like a couple more cards, but I have like no, no extra points to just guarantee the card that I want or need. Yeah, that's the thing about booster packs. It's just always going to be random. All right, let me give this boss another go. We'll see. Where's my stuff? There it is. I may just move on to a different area. Back, back away. There we go. But yeah, okay, phase one of this guy, pretty simple. Kind of got the patter down, more or less. It's when we get to phase two. Yeah, I knew I was in that explosion range. Try it again. Yeah, that explosion has way more range than you think it does. Speaking of which. Back away. Definitely did not have enough time. He's not getting staggered as much. Oh, come on. I got a heal. If he's not being staggered... Crit. Perfect. Okay. 
I definitely want more of that air attack, please. Thank you. But yeah, Caleb, I know you haven't really played... I don't think you played any Souls game. But this one, you have a gun, but it's not really meant for damage. It's meant for parrying. Get out of there. Get out of the corner. Okay. I, I almost want to just wait until he does that move, but I can't take advantage of that. Nope. This ain't going well. I couldn't lock onto the sword. <sighs> Perfect. Oh, I, I, I saved myself. You know what? Okay. Got the crit. Yeah, no, I want you to do that move again. Yes, just keep doing that. Maltoffs? Eh, it's chip damage. Missed my timing. Wasted more bullets. That sucks. I wasted that. And that, my friends, is another boss fight defeated. Oh, that is nice. Wait, what's this? A crown of illusions. I need to get out of here. Keep all that. You watch a dude spend like $200 on TCG parking, but he didn't get anything good. <laughs> So it's pay to win, but it's random. Oh, that sucks. It's not a gotcha game. Seek ton of money into because of that fact that it's random. I'm, okay, let's be fair here. Every gotcha game is random. But you already spent a lot of money. Put the crown on and go to the wall where the chair was. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. I just wanted to make sure I restock. Oh my god, I have like no potions now. I think you know what that means. It would be time to restock on potions. Uh, let me make sure I repair weapons. Alright, no, not that. Uh, fortify? Can I do anything? Nope. I want to grab my Molotovs. I need five. Yeah, phase two. At that point, I was just kind of waiting for him to do that air attack. What do I want to boost? I can only boost one. I guess I'll just... I guess I'll boost HP. It's fine. Get get these two like to level 30. And then I might boost strength again. Okay. How many blood vials? You know what? We're just gonna... 
because everything is going to go to blood vials and items now. Let's just go ahead and get some more money. Azure Lane. One run, it will give me enough potions. Exactly. I know. I just wanted to make sure to use my money on level ups. Because like I said, I am trying to not abuse this dungeon for level ups. So I want to make sure to get all that done first. And that guy's dead. 83k. <laughs> that should be good. Anyone who uses it for levels is not a Chad. Pretty much. You would be at that point you're basically just going for like a god mode run. Which I mean for a for a playthrough, I can understand the mindset. But it's too busted. That should be good enough. Actually, you know what? Let's do one more set. And just buy more potions. Just to make sure I don't have to do this again for a while. But yeah, Caleb, I, t I, I believe I told you about uh, getting that rental Venusaur deck in TCG Pocket. I did get all the cards. But when I tested it out a little bit, I wasn't a fan of, I think it was Skiddo, because one of the attacks is uh, 40 damage, but flip a coin. If you get tails, you just straight up miss, and I really don't like that. So I decided to swap that out for a different one, but overall, the deck seems pretty solid. But yeah, I kind of want to get the Pikachu, uh, the Pikachu one, because that Pikachu EX is really fun to use. <laughs> coin flips suck and it doesn't seem random the f you know like it actually seems like it's actually affected by your by the swipe of the screen at least to some degree there we go that should be good for now okay and you said get the crown well i have blood defense that's for sure but like nothing else and look, it's Kingdom Hearts 2. I did all the side quests, so I have a golden crown. Lugarius' seat. There's something else to check. Alright, ads. Oh, I didn't think it would have been a cutscene. Looks like more to the castle just got extended. This is Dracula's castle. Let me put my stuff back on. Yes, this totally is just Dracula's castle. Is there anything in this room? Doesn't really seem like that. I'm waiting for one of these statues to just come alive and attack me. Doesn't seem to be the case. Let me get to the top of the staircase. Is there any items? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, you won the battle royale. You get some gold. 
What does it do? I think it. I think all gold does is just let you get points to swap your avatar if you want. I think that's all it does. Okay, there's a lamp here. Kinda interesting. What do the notes say? Weeks of communion is the scourge of metamorphosis. Despicable woman. Wondrous moon, bless us with blood. Such banquets defile our only guest of a queen. We shall not give audience to an ill mannered beast. Okay, so I'm supposed to kneel. F fine. By what? We are prisoners to this wretched mask. What is it about in search of? I can swear an oath, or I can leave. I don't know if there's any drawback. You know what? I'm just going to play all sides. That way, no matter what happens, I win. See. Okay. Thou wouldst this path walk. I pray thee, partake of my rotted blood. Hmm. This only affects multiplayer. Oh. Uh, okay. I don't know. I don't really spend time in multiplayer. Corruption, Kinghurst badge. We get respect. We await thy return for the honor of Kinghurst. The consequence the consequences only affect multiplayer. Okay. So I was given a what what was it? Corruption. A heal near death plus one. Continue heal? Huh. That seems better than the max HP during co-op because I don't play multiplayer. And what was that? Uh, I got a badge. That's right. Uh, there it is. Badge of the Royal Guards of Kanehurst. Loyal guardians of the Veilblood Queen Annalise. The Veilbloods are hunters of blood and hunt prey as they search for blood for blood dregs. The hunter who joins them is faced with the decision to merely borrow their strength or to become one with them, heart and soul. So that's just a multiplayer thing. To the right of the queen, before the stairs along the wall is a letter I could pick up. Ah, right there. Unopened summons. I might have missed that. Let's see. An old seal summons. Like the first of its kind, it is an invention, invitation to Kanehurst. But for whom is not known, it lacks an address, addressee. Okay. Okay. 
There's no one else around here. Okay. So it seems like there was really no reason to say no to her. Unless you mess around with multiplayer. Alfred. Oh, isn't Alfred the... I think I know who Alfred is. Okay. It's been a while. Alright, oh, there was a lamp in there. I guess we're done here. I don't think there's anything else here that I need. Okay, I want to go... I think it was here. Uh, it was... Where was it? Old Yarnum? It might have been Old Yarnum. It's been a while. Cathedral Ward? I thought Alfred was the guy that I talked to. He's like, hey, we can exchange information. And I think he was closer to old Yarnum. But I don't want to actually go into old Yarnum. I want to actually backtrack. I think this is right. Again, we're hearing the baby. I guess I'll take more of those. Yeah, I think it was I think he was in this area. There's like three places I could go to find him. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. I thought it was just like one area. Maybe. Okay, there's this guy. Gotta get rid of you. It's been so long since I've been here. The fact that he's a one-hit KO shows how strong I've gotten. Oh, Cathedral Ward. I guess we're, pr we're probably thinking the same area. I just thought it might have been faster to go to Old Yarnum and then backtrack. But I wasn't sure. I know... Oh, I think I need to go up and around. Yeah, this way. Bullets, which you don't need. Yeah, that was the way to open up the crypt, or the way down to old Yarnum. And he was... He was here. Okay, so he was here. Where else can he be at? Oh, and thanks for the follow, Master Drivel. Enjoy the emotes that are available to you now. Okay, so... Stairs leading to the Forbidden Forest. Okay, uh, this Forbidden Forest, that was... Would it be faster to just go to warp to the F Forbidden Forest and backtrack? I gotta find some... I gotta find a lantern. Probably up here. 
Does he just move depending on what time of day it is? Or how far into the night it is? Okay, it would have been faster just to go to the Cathedral Ward. Good to know. Because yeah, I, I don't remember my way to the forest that I'm now, like, blinking. Forest is right here. No, forest is here. Forbidden Woods, and then we'll backtrack. A lot of jumping around right now. Wait, is the robot? Uh, read my. Yeah, it is. Okay, wasn't sure. Wasn't sure if it crashed on me. Time to backtrack. Who's throwing that at me? There we go. It's you. Right, it was just quick attacks. Heal up first. There we go. Oh, no, wait. This was the dead end. I needed to go... Left? There was another way up. There's another pathway somewhere. I took a wrong turn somewhere. Great. I'm lost again. Oh, wait. There it is. Here's the staircase. Stairs leading to the Forbidden Forest. I'm he wasn't there. Is he up at the very top? Oh, it's the guy with the password. Okay. I couldn't remember how to get to the forest. I wasn't sure. Wait, did I pass him, or is that not where he's at? Oh, there he is. It would have been faster if I just walked the normal way, but I couldn't remember where the forest was. Okay, I have not heard him talk about the corrupt veil worlds, I don't think. There's something I want to tell you. A bit of wisdom from the eminent master Logarius. Once a scholar betrayed his fellows at Burgenworth and brought forbidden blood back with him to Kanehurst Castle. It was there that the first of the inhuman vile bloods was born. The vile bloods are fiendish creatures who threaten the purity of the church's blood healing. The ruler of the vile bloods is still alive today. No, he isn't. And so, to honor my master's wishes, I search for the path to Kanehurst Castle. Your opinion that the vile bloods did nothing and the church is evil? Uh, so the church being evil is just a constant. Uh, thing that happens in a lot of these games. So, 
I, I'm not surprised. And that that just that's just a common thing in a lot of RPGs. Final Fantasy X is one of them. Uh, or at the very least, if not the whole church, like the leaders of it. I should maybe specify a little bit more. Tales of games do that often. Um, but based on what he said, it's we don't. It sounds like we don't know the full story because someone left Bergenworth and brought blood with him, or corrupted blood, and that, and then they ingested that, and then they became corrupted. What was the what was that blood? Why was it corrupted? Was it their fault to begin with? Uh, the, it, it feels like there is missing information there. After Lawrence went bye bye, the church went. Right. Bergenworth is an old place of learning, and the tomb of the gods carved out below Yarnum should be familiar to every hunter. Well, once a group of young Bergenworth scholars discovered a holy medium deep within the tomb. This led to the founding of the Healing Church and the establishment of Blood Heal. I'm just refreshing on what he says. Everything sacred in Yarnum can be traced back to Bergenworth. But today, the college lies deep within a tangled wood, abandoned and decayed. Yeah, where we fought Rom, okay. Furthermore, the Healing Church has declared Bergenworth forbidden ground. It's unclear how many of its scholars remain alive. Only they know the password that allows passage through the gate. Okay, wait, which gate is he referring to? Um, no. As you know, the healing church is the fountainhead of blood healing. While I'm a simple hunter, quite unfamiliar with the ins and outs of the institution, but I have heard that the holy medium of blood healing is venerated in the main cathedral. And that counselors of the old church reside in the high stratum of the cathedral ward. Hmm. You seek blood healing, and the church is willing. High stratum. Yeah, we've been up there. I kind of have a better understanding now that I've like been to all these places. Let's give him the summons. Aha. Is that the sigil of Kanehurst? I've heard tell of Kanehurst nobles and their amusingly pompous invitations. Wonderful. I thank you profusely. I will depart immediately, but first, a token of my gratitude. Real hunter badge. Ah, I feel that must be I, hand at work. I can buy more things, Clean I think. Good blood. And let us cleanse these tarnished streets. Okay, so does he move somewhere else now? Story in any form of any from soft game. Mostly comes from iron descriptions and such. I I know that much. Though it is best for lore channels involving from soft games. He's in the queen ch queen chamber. Let's go ahead and take a look. See what he, what's going on then. Yeah, I'm. I will probably need to look at some sort of lore channel after this. After all this. I don't think I will want to look up anything just yet, though. Probably until af. Probably when I beat the game. doesn't matter which path I take. Why is that gate open? I thought I closed that. No, wait. It's... No, okay, no, it's right. This is the one I wanted closed. Good. Yeah, let's go back to Kanehurst. Bati is the undisputed king for lore in the Souls Bone world. I'll keep that in mind. Uh, 
I'll definitely want to look into a lore video after I'm done with this game for sure. I want to go back. Queen's Chamber. There we go. We'll see what uh, what's going on here. I see. You filthy monstrosity. Forsook your immortality now. Try stirring up trouble in this sorry state. All mangled and twisted with every inside on the outside for all the world to see. <laughs> oh, we just basically ended up killing her. And as far as I know, she hasn't really done much. Uh, do we know who his master is? Or is he referring to, like, a god? <laughs> eh, why not? Well, I tried. <laughs> Logarius. The guy I killed on top tree. Oh! Okay. Altar of Despair lamp? I might. Did I just mess up by aggroing him? Okay, yeah, I kind of did. But at least I could kind of get out of here very quickly. Okay, so, let me see. Altar of Despair, let me look. Beckoning Bell, Silence and Blink, Sinister, Small Resonant. I don't see Altar of Despair. Let me double check like all my stuff. King Harris old Old Hunter Bell, no. Weapons, armor, bloodstones. No, I'm not. I don't think I have it. It would say in the list of warp sips, it's a warp location. Oh, my bad. Oh, there we go. We can finally get numbing mists. But. I really only needed it for that one boss fight. So far, there hasn't been another fight that started healing. Let's see. Still can't buy Thunder Paper. Or Bolt Paper, whatever. We can buy the wheel. Oh, Chikage's new, I believe. And I don't recognize that. So I can buy a couple items here. Ludwig's rifle. Evelyn, I think that's new. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh, good. New armor. We might do some grinding. Item grinding just to complete that. Okay, so you're saying... Uh, Altar of Despair. Uh, let me take a look. Because I don't think I do. That doesn't sound familiar. No, I don't have Altar of Despair. Welcome home. Can I buy... Can I upgrade? No. Alright, we're gonna do some item grinding. Basically gonna buy everything new. I'm guessing the Altar of Despair is a place that's going to take a little bit to get to. Let's do this. Oh, let's use three Bold Hunter's Marks. Let's use three of these. Actually, do I need... Yeah, everything's pretty expensive. Upper Cathedral Ward. I did explore up there a bit. Um, I'm trying to think of how much of that area I did explore. Then there's that old town. Okay, I'm using my last one that I'm going to use. Not my last one, but I'm going to use my uh, one more. And then I'm going to go buy stuff. Let's see how much I can buy. I want to get my new armor and the one new weapon, at the very least. this by Chicago trying to think like I'm trying to look like how do I know if I had the item before I'll buy Chicago because I don't think I bought that did I wait did I buy that one food rig Rider Polish, Chicago, Rifle Spear, Stake Driver, The Wheel. Kirkhammer, Ludwig, Chicago, Rifle Spear, Stake Hit Driver. Okay. In here, I don't think I have Evelyn. Pistol, blunderbuss, repeating pistol, rifle. Oh, I already had Evelyn. Dang it. It didn't look familiar. Like, what's the difference between... Honestly, Hunter's Torch is just straight up better than normal Torch. Anyway, 
Uh, I guess I'll sell it, Evelyn, because I didn't think I had it. There we go. Okay. Um. What else? I guess I'll use the rest of my money to restock. We're good on these. Let's replace the four that I had. And I guess I'll just put everything else in... in other items. There we go. Use it all up. And then I can use my in my insight for mist if I wanted to. Numbing mist. Cost four or cost two. I have plenty of insight, but there hasn't been another enemy that heals. So I don't really need it. So I think I'll hold off. Okay. So let me look. I think we could play just a little bit more. So we could go to Cathedral Ward and go to the upper area. Towards the... I guess towards that church men uh, you mentioned earlier. There's nothing here. Not that I could think of. We could go to the Unseen Village. We could go back to the Queen's Chamber and take out Alfred. He's gonna, he seems like a tougher fight, though. Uh, hold on a second. Sorry about that. Uh, it looks like I can't really continue. I got, I knew I was kind of cutting it close, but uh, uh, I have some stuff that has to be done today, sadly. Uh, 
So next time, my options are... Uh, actually, not this area. My options are Unseen Village, Fight uh, Alfred, and my other option is to go to the Upper Cathedral Ward. Or the Chalice and fight that Firewolf thing. Those are currently my options. Got a lot done today. Anyway, thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. Uh, Wednesdays are Kingdom Hearts 2, level 1 problem mode, or critical mode, just trying to finish that up. The rest of the days, Bloodborne, first playthrough. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at scottbot 64 Stream Archives. There's a link in the about page. Yeah, I got some stuff to take care of. And tomorrow will be Kingdom Hearts 2. Focus on score stuff for the Coliseums that I'm missing for now. And then back to data rematches. Anyway, have a good day. Later.